Hello folks, I'm Dan. Today we are working on fuel tanks a little bit. My fuel tanks have already been formed. I still have work to do on the end ribs for them. I've got some blanks cut, but I think I have to build the form block for those yet. But anyway, the 701 tanks call for a stiffener rib around the outer edges, and I've already applied it here and here on this tank. I guess I better move this around so you can see a little bit better. So these are my stiffeners here on the back and on the front of the tank, just like that. And I'm forming them the poor man's way, the cheap man's way. I'm not sure what you want to call it. But what I've done is I built some form blocks and I'm pressing those in. Now these could be done with a bead roller, of course. And ironically, I was building a bead roller and it's almost done if I'd take the time to to build a set of dies for it and the drive gear is why it'd be done so you know probably four hours I'd have a functioning bead roller but anyway I've chosen to form these this way which anybody can do at home I've taken a couple pieces of hardwood in this instance for this rib and I've routed a groove both sides this is probably a 3 8 groove in this one and this has got a quarter inch groove with a piece of quarter inch rod in it I've radiused both the ends of it so it gives you a nice even even um, radius going into the end so there's not a sharp edge that's going to to form a sharp edge on your tanks and then I've got a couple of 3 16 guide pins and they're set an inch back and that's how far my uh, bead will be in there so in use what happens is they fit together like that with our piece in between and they just set over the end of the tank like that your guide pins will set the depth, so you just want your guide pins to rest on top, and then you just squeeze them together. I use uh, heavy-duty C-clamps, put a, put a piece of steel backing on both sides, and then just tighten them down with a couple of, couple of big C-clamps. So I've already done all oh, three-quarters of this tank. I've got these done on both sides. I've got the small ones on the end, and I tried one of the long edges. The long edge is a little bit more involved just because it's so long. The forms are built exactly the same way, and it will go on just like this. And then it's set up for the proper distance on the, on the tanks themselves. And then we'll just squeeze those together, heavy pieces that were clamped in place. first one and then we'll line everything up again. It's pretty good right there. So they're held in place. Let's just get a couple more clamps on them. This takes a fair amount of pressure on these long edges, but it is definitely doable. Okay, now what I did find doing the other long edge of this is it tends to tilt it back. Um, so what I did, once they're clamped down, is I went ahead, and went ahead and set it down on the bench like that, and then just give it a little bit of an upward tweak. Right there to kind of level it out, very similar to what you do with a bending brake. And once you've got it there, it should be situated enough. You can take it back off. camera work. Sorry about that. We take our clamps off, pull it apart, and then we've got our stiffener. 
and the bottom of it. It'll take just a little bit of work to flatten out the bottom edges there. Um, and I didn't notice that problem on the front and the rear. It looks like they formed real well. On these longer ones, there's quite a bit more material you're trying to move. So um, that gives a perfectly satisfactory stiffener there. That looks good. Let's do the next one. Okay, a little bit of an updated technique on the way to form them. Screwed a couple of 2x4s so I've got clearance underneath my clamps. Set my channel iron on top and there again this is just channel iron that I had here. Nothing spectacular. We're going to set our top piece on like that. Support the back edges so it's relatively level. And we'll set it where it's supposed to go or approximately where it's supposed to go. Put our top piece on. So we'll straighten up these corners a little bit, and that makes that tank significantly stiffer. Yeah, looks good. Okay, we'll straighten those up and we'll bring it back for a final look at it. Well here is a tank that has not been beaded yet, and you can see we've got beaded why obviously it'll be got a big bow in the middle once they're beaded and there again still got a little bit of tweaking to do to this I probably won't do any more until we get the uh, ends, of the ends of the tank formed but that makes a whole lot more substantial assembly so hopefully that will help you quick little easy relatively easy way to do it if you don't have a bead roller access to a bead roller why uh, you can form your flanges up quite a little while there so we'll straighten that up. Uh, you can form your, your stiffening ribs along your tanks with just that easy. So anyway, if you find these videos helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like them. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And thanks for taking the time to watch.